Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Hey, good morning out there, guys. You head out the door this morning. It's going to be pretty cold, I would say, but also not as windy as yesterday morning, so it may feel a little better as you walk out the door. The skies are clear as well. Yesterday morning, we had lots of cloud cover. A look at the radar right now. We have a disturbance moving through Florida. The last of the showers have just left Louisiana, so no rain to worry about anymore for the rest of the day today, but we will have more rain for tomorrow. Satellite radar showing clear conditions across the area. Now, temperatures, pretty cold. 46 in Baton Rouge, 43 in Liberty, Mississippi. We are, are seeing a few 50s right now, 53 in Gonzales and Laplace, 51 in Napoleonville right now. The winds are lighter as well, which is great news, about 5 mile per hour winds. So they're not calm, but they're light. Once we go to 9 o'clock, we're back into the mid-50s and then into the mid-60s right around lunchtime. And we continue that warm-up into the afternoon, probably warming to 73 or 74 degrees. Before tonight, we cool back into the 50s. But we stay in the 50s overnight. That's because cloud cover will increase, holding those temperatures steady. Before tomorrow, we warm back to 70. However, you know, I don't think we're going to get too high into the 70s just because we will be seeing plenty of cloud cover tomorrow with rain falling from the sky before a cold front pushes through the area, really cooling things down for tomorrow night as we get back into the mid 30s. Future track radar looking quiet for today, so nothing to really to worry about. There's that increasing cloud cover that I talked about. Once it pushes in tonight, that's when the temperatures will stop dropping and they'll start holding steady back to the 50s, not into the 40s. And then once we go into the morning hours, 9, 10 o'clock, you're going to notice some scattered showers beginning to pop up. Those showers turn into thunderstorms, and we start seeing rain falling across the area throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours whenever that front passes. Temperatures will be dropping in the evening with the last of the rain clearing out by midnight. Looks like overnight tomorrow night, the skies will clear, which means temperatures will get back into the 30s with a strong north wind. Sunday looks to be pretty quiet in the forecast, though it's not much going on Saturday or Sunday. Future track rain totals look to be pretty much nothing for today since it's going to be sunny all day, but that it will not be the case with that cold front for tomorrow. Looks like some areas could rack up on half an inch to an inch. Other areas with the heavier thunderstorms could see two, maybe three inches of rain, so it will depend on where those heavier thunderstorms track. But overall, many should see a good blanket amount of, say, half an inch to an inch of rain. The higher than an inch will just be uh, more isolated, not uh, across the entire area. Now, the next couple of days, those temperatures will stay warm before that front pushes through. And then we do see a big dip in temperatures, 52 on Saturday, 30s Saturday night, Friday night. But we warm back up into next week, and we just keep going up and up and up all the way to Wednesday, back to 78 degrees. And for reference, the average high this time of year is 72 degrees. A look at your seven-day forecast in Baton Rouge. You'll see high of 74 today, 52 for tonight. We're still pretty warm tomorrow before that front pushes through, about a 60 to 70 percent coverage in those showers and thunderstorms. And then a bit of a cold blast for Saturday. Nothing but sunny skies, breezy conditions, and highs barely in the 50s on Saturday. Sunday, we spring forward an hour, so don't forget to turn those clocks forward an hour Saturday night. And then it looks like Monday, Tuesday, we do have a slight chance for some showers, but temperatures continue to warm through Wednesday.